I am going to meet Mary Jo, Dean's ex, Jack's mom. Oh my gosh, we haven't sat down and talked one on one since eight years ago. When you start a relationship with someone, you don't know the other person they're involved with. You have one story that's painted for you. You painted a pretty accurate portrait of him, though. I mean, you did tell me, like, this is what I know from my relationship, and it was, it all became true in my own relationship. You could say I told you so. <laughs> I know that your personality, I know that how you present yourself to me, mm -hmm. but I know that there's, there's more kick-ass to your personality because I see all the things you do, and you're successful, and you're driven. I want to say ball breaker, I don't know if I could say that, but I, I think you've got that in your spirit. So I I was always reconciling these two sides of your personality. Mm -hmm. I don't hate Dean. I mean, he's a total knob. I mean, I know that. <laughs> but he's your knob now. But he's like, he's, you know. So many people came up to me and said, oh, don't you feel so great? It's karma. Karma, yeah. You, isn't that just a fantastic feeling? And I was like, no, it's actually really horrible. It's not a great feeling. I. They have four children. What does it mean at the end of the day? It's just nothing. It doesn't make me feel any better. I actually brought you this letter that I want you to read that he wrote me just before he met you. Sounds familiar. It was just very weird that I found this when I was putting together the slideshow for the, the party. You just found this? Uh-huh. It was just after we moved here, just before he did the movie. It's just hard to think you could tell someone this one day and then months later just changes so drastically. And the reason I gave you that to read is, you know, so you understand where we were coming from as a family. And we were real people in a real family. Yeah. It wasn't a joke. When this happened, when, when the Palm Springs story happened, mm -hmm. um, and he left Palm Springs and I didn't know what to do, and I stayed up all night <laughs> and I called my brother at three in the morning because I knew he'd be up in New York. And I told him what happened. He, he was like, <laughs> I said, I can't tell anybody. I, 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 I can't. I'm humiliated. I'm in shock. I can't tell anybody. Can you call mom and dad? Because I can't do it. He said, OK, I'll do it. He called my parents the next morning. And my dad picked up the phone. And my dad started crying. I mean, if there had been no me, like, what would have happened? There would have been somebody else. Why? I think he was really determined. When you say determined, are you insinuating that he went after me because of who I was? I don't know. Like, I don't, you know, I don't know. Because he ended up with nothing because my dad didn't leave me anything. So it has nothing to do with that. If that's what he was looking for, it was a free ticket. Like, it didn't work out. Dean came back from Canada, and we came back to our reality. Why are you even with me? What? I, I feel like you're such like such a nag tyrant and making me feel bad all the time. I'm sick of arguing. I decided that I wanted to see a picture of the woman that my husband cheated on. But, oh God, I don't want to change our lifestyle. My dad wouldn't have wanted this. Oh, and there's one more thing. I may be pregnant.